the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video abacus multiplication simple fractions in fraction addition and subtraction we deal with the two fractions in those uh, fractions too we deal with the whole numbers and the fraction portions in addition and subtraction we deal with the whole number separately for dealing with the fraction portions in addition and subtraction we may or may not involve the whole numbers in some cases you have to add or subtract in the whole number section also depending on the value of the numerator and denominator in addition and subtraction we also use the concept of least common denominator to facilitate easy calculation however in fraction multiplication we do not use the concept of least common denominator in the case of proper fractions where the numerator is less than the denominator we simply multiply the numerators and denominators and the result also becomes a proper fraction in the case of a mixed fraction where we have whole number 2 in addition to the fraction the number should be converted first into an improper fraction before we commence the multiplication we shall explain these procedures in the later sections to begin with let us demonstrate how we can carry out the multiplication of proper fractions let us consider the example 2 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 3 before multiplication we can apply the cancellation rule thereby reducing the fraction into smaller numbers that will be easy for multiplication process the following two possibilities may be considered for cancellation both the numerator and denominator of the particular fraction may be reduced to a smaller number by using a common divisor to divide both for example in 2 by 6 2 is a common divisor and therefore both the numerator and denominator can be divided by 2 therefore reducing the fraction to 1 by 3 the next option in cancellation is between the alternative numerators and the denominators in this problem 2 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 3 you have to consider the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second fraction and find out whether there is any common divisor between them that can be used to reduce it to a smaller number in this case there is no common divisor and therefore we have to simply take it as it is similarly we have to consider 5 which is the denominator of the first fraction and 1 which is the numerator of the second fraction to find out whether cancellation can be done using a common divisor here also it is not possible as they are prime numbers once the simplification process is over we have to multiply the two numerators 2 and 1 and consider that as the result numerator that is 2 similarly we multiply the denominators 5 and 3 and multiply them which gives the denominator 15 therefore the multiplied value is 2 by 15 before finalizing the result we have to find out whether there are any common divisor in the result fraction and if so that can be used to make the fraction smaller in this case 
it is not possible as 2 and 15 do not have a common devices and therefore the result is 2 by 15.